Yo, what's up guys, Sijiko Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I will try to get closer to Ultimate Champion using 2.6 Hawk Cycle, but instead of the cannon, we're gonna use it with the Goblin Cage, making it a 2.8 average chase cost. Very excited to see how we can do with this deck, but with the Goblin Cage Evolution. See you guys soon with game number one. Okay, let's go guys, hopping into game number one right away. Let's see what we're gonna be facing. But I think the most important thing when using Goblin Cage Evolution is to start cycling, yeah, the cage as soon as possible. So let's just start off by setting up the cage already and let's see what this guy is going to be running um, yeah, against us. Okay, let's go Ice Spirit here. Let's then cycle Skeletons. I'm using Evil Skeletons, by the way. Normal Ice Spirit. I think Evil Skeletons are a little bit better than the Ice Spirit. Of course, without the cage, it yeah, doesn't have a second evolution. Okay, let's go with a Musketeer here in the meantime. That looks like he has a Dark Prince as well. So Wizard Dark Prince. Not really sure what it um, yeah, can be, but probably some kind of giant deck, maybe some kind of beatdown deck. So I think we should be fine here with the Evil Cage. Let's go with the Ice Golem to distract the Dark Prince. And let's then go with the Hawk Rider in front of the Musketeer. He's still going to have to drop something against the Musketeer, because if not, it's going to get a lot of value. He needs to go with Arrows, and that's already a lot of damage. With the Hawk Rider on the left side, we can go with Ice Spirit in the meantime to cycle. Let's go with Skeletons. Let's go with the Log. And I would like to even pressure here with another Ice Golem plus Hawk Rider, because I feel like he spent a lot of Elixir. But I don't want to go into like a um, yeah, Sparky or something. So let's wait a little bit. Make sure we have 10 Elixir. And then I'm going to go Ice Golem. Also wait a little bit just in case he goes with something. Um, predicting the, the Hawk Rider. It looks like he does go with a Battle Ram. Let's go with the Cage. And then afterwards we could go with the Hawk Rider. But I think I'm going to wait a little bit. Okay, so let's see if the Cage is able to pull it. Okay, looks like it is able to pull the Battle Ram. So that's amazing. Cage in some situations, honestly, is very strong. In other situations, it's not that strong. But I do think it has some potential, like in some situations, it can definitely yeah, get a lot of value. Okay, so here's Pekka. Oh, this Pekka is definitely really good by him. We need to be careful here. I think our play is to go... Okay, let's first go with Lock, and let's then afterwards go with Evil Skeletons. Okay, let's go Evil Skeletons now. Please tell me that the Wizard doesn't kill all of them. Perfect, that's exactly what I needed to happen. And then we can go with the Ice Golem here, distracting both the Wizard on the left side and the Electro Wizard. Let's go with the Ice Spirit, and then we just take the damage um, yeah, from the Wizard. In this case, two shots quite a lot of damage but i think it's yeah probably the best situation the best defense we could have done in that situation okay let's go with the hawk rider right side definitely do not want to go into the same lane when playing against pekka and he also has inferno dragon okay let's go with the musketeer let's then go with skeletons and i think it's going to be very important to try and um yeah, get a lot of value from the musketeer because he needs to spend and fireball and arrows to to defend it Okay, let's go with a Goblin Cage here to try and pull the P.E.K.K.A. Let's then afterwards go with a um, Hawk Rider. Let's see what happens. Okay, looks like it pulls the Better Ram instead. Let's set up... Wait, what? Okay, I've never seen that happen. I haven't played too much with the Goblin Cage either. But that was such a crazy interaction, guys. What just happened? Did the cage... I had pulled it, but it was not able to kill it fully or... I don't know what happened, but anyway, still a pretty good situation. Musketeer in the meantime on the right side is able to take care of the tower. I... Yeah, my brain just stopped working there. Whenever I see that happen, what a crazy interaction, but we were able to get the victory. Let's give him a good game. He honestly played this really well. I think we had a pretty good matchup here. Really nice guy. See you guys soon with game number two. Okay, let's go, guys. Hoping into game number two. Looks like we're up against a pretty decent player, so let's give him a good luck. And once again, I'm going to start off... Ooh, looks like he goes with Princess right away. I wanted to say I'm going to start off with Goblin Cage, but I guess we're going to have to first deal with the Princess. This guy was so quick with the Prince at the Bridge. I know that many people do like to play, yeah, Prince at the Bridge. But this guy was ready for it. Okay, let's go with a Goblin Cage here in the meantime to distract a little bit the Knight. Mainly to cycle towards the Evolution. And I guess it's going to be Lockbait after seeing Princess. After seeing the Knight as well. I'm assuming it is indeed going to be yeah, some kind of Lockbait deck. Okay, let's go with a Lock here. I think we can maybe activate the King Tower. Let's go with the Ice Spirit now. And it should be able to activate... No, it didn't activate... Oh, that's so unlucky. Normally it would activate... But it actually spawned the Goblin Cage, and that's why it did not activate. That was really unlucky there. No problem, though. We can in the meantime go with Hawk Rider. He laughs, and he gets Insta Karma, guys, because he actually ends up missing the Cannon Pool. I'm gonna yeah, just send him a laugh emote there. That was so funny. He laughs it out for not getting the King Tower activated, and then he ends up missing the Cannon. So let's go with a Musketeer in the meantime. Let's go with some um, Skeletons here as well to cycle. And then I think we might even be able to cycle back to another Hawk Rider here. Okay, let's go with the Ice Spirit. Let's then go with the Ice Golem here in front of the Musketeer. And I think I am actually going to go with Hawk Rider as well. Knowing that he doesn't have it uh, yet in cycle yet, I think. I think he still needs to cycle. Exactly, he still needed to cycle. And then the Hawk Rider in the meantime. No, that's unlucky. The Princess Shot actually ends up killing the, um, the Hawk Rider there. Okay, I don't know why he's laughing. You just ended up missing the cannon. This guy is BMing yeah, quite a bit, but no problem. I'm just going to try to keep my focus. And then hopefully afterwards, if we end up winning, I'm also going to yeah, BM him a little bit. Okay, we have the evil skeletons, guys. I would like to go with it, but we do need to be careful because he does have the, um, the goblin gang. Okay, I'm going to go ice spirit. 
Goblin Gang, and then I'm gonna go Evil Skeletons. We do not watch out if he goes with his own lock. Looks like he does, but it's still able to take care of all of the um, yeah, goblins and the knight. And in the meantime, we can go with Hawk Rider. He does end up getting the cannon, but we can go with a lock. I feel like he's kind of low on elixir. Hopefully, with this Hawk Rider, we can get some good amount of damage. Even one shot is definitely um, yeah, pretty decent amount of damage. Okay, let's go with Ice Spirit. Let's then here go with the Ice Column as well, just in case he goes with a princess, but looks like he goes with a princess. Um, kind of defensively, let's cycle skeletons here, and then I'm gonna cycle a musketeer or use a musketeer um, on defense. Okay, we do need to be careful. I think I'm gonna go lock left side, then I'm gonna go fireball right side. Okay, he did end up dropping the um, golden barrel a little bit more backwards, but luckily on the left side tower where we took a lot of damage, it doesn't really matter. And I feel like in this matchup, the goblin cage isn't really useful, especially the evil goblin cage doesn't really do much. So I guess we're just gonna yeah, have to play kind of without the goblin cage in this one. Okay, let's go with a lock, making sure that I hit all the goblins, and then go with a hawk rider. And I'm not gonna go fireball, I think I'm just gonna let this be for now. Okay, looks like he does end up going with his lock. I think I'm gonna go skeletons. Not sure if the skeletons here are able to hit the princess. Please tell me that they do. No, they don't. Okay, we need to be careful, guys, because he's actually stacking up um, a lot of troops. We can go with a goblin cage once again. I'm gonna go with a lock here on defense. We do need to be careful because one of the goblins stays alive. And then here I'm gonna go with skeletons. Okay, let's see. Let's go with a musketeer horn or to, to counter the princess. What is even happening right now? He's spamming so much. Like, he's doing a pretty good job at pressuring, I'm not gonna lie. But it's still, yeah, really annoying. Okay, let's go with the ice spirit. Let's go with a look on left side. Let's then go with a musketeer. And please, someone kill those mus like those princesses. I mean, not the musketeer, the princesses. They are making me nervous right now. Okay, so we still have everything under control. Um, yeah, he's definitely applying a lot of pressure, as I just said. Let's go with the Goblin Cage, let's go with Skeletons, let's go with a Lock here as well. And then we need to try and get some damage, maybe with Fireballs, because I feel like knowing that he has Cannon, um, and just in general seeing the matchup, I don't think we can actually get yeah, much damage. With the Hawk Rider, I don't know why he would cycle Princess there, that was actually a, a pretty bad Princess on, on his part, because in my opinion, yeah, he just gives us a free Fireball, which anyways, we are interested in Fireballing his tower, probably even without hitting the Princess. Okay, let's go with the Ice Golem, nice, perfect, I knew that he was probably gonna go with um, a princess at the bridge so that's why i tried to not use the lock there we do need to be careful because he's applying a lot of pressure with the um, evil knight let's go with skeletons let's go with a hawk rider here as well i don't think we need to lock on the left side so that's perfect i'm once again gonna go ice spirit let's go with a lock here on defense and let's then go with the ice column as well okay we're doing a good job at defending i feel like he's also doing a really good job at trying to pressure trying to out cycle us but so far we're doing um yeah, a good job at keeping up with his cycle and also getting pretty uh, good reads on his barrels like behind the tower Okay, once again, we do end up missing one of the goblins, but I think it's no problem. Let's in the meantime go with a musketeer. Let's go with the ice spirit. Let's go with another musketeer here, and I think that should be pretty much good game. He should have a rocket in there. But I don't think he will be able to uh, yeah, get the damage necessary. We can even fireball in the last second if necessary. He does go with the rocket, but I think he's low on elixir right now. Fireball plus the hawk rider should make the hawk rider get some hits on the tower, and that's gonna be good game. What a crazy match! We did end up getting the victory, so very yeah, good game. Well played to him. I honestly liked how he played that match. Really, really well played. See you guys soon with the next match. Okay, let's go, guys. By the way, how do you guys feel about the Goblin Cage? I feel like sometimes it's pretty good in some situations, but then in others, especially the last match, for example, against the Lockbait matchup, I feel like I barely used it, and it was just, yeah, like, kind of awkward having the cage, especially the Goblin Cage evolution in the deck. So I'm not really sure how to feel about it. I feel like in some specific decks, it could be good, maybe specifically in 2.6. It's not the best option, but it's definitely still fun to use, and so far, we're doing pretty good, actually. Okay, let's go with the musketeer here. Let's see what he's running. Looks like he has knight, night witch. Um, maybe some kind of, yeah, beatdown deck. Looks like he also has a fireball. I guess I'm just gonna cycle skeletons and I'm gonna cycle on ice column in front of the musketeer. Try to protect it and making sure that it gets as much value as possible. Okay, let's go with the hawk rider here as well. I feel like he spent kind of a lot of elixir there with the knight, with the um, night witch fireball as well. And then the musketeer is still alive. Musketeer is actually getting a lot of value, especially, yeah, considering the fact that she's one HP, ended up killing the night witch, ended up killing most of the barbarians here. And then he barely has uh, yeah, a counter attack right now. Okay, I don't really know what to cycle. I guess I can go with a Goblin Cage here. The Goblin Cage, of course, against Lava Hound is not the best option. So we're going to have to rely a lot on our Musketeer. And maybe try to outcycle him by going with um, yeah, Hawk Rider, maybe opposite lane. Or try to pressure a little bit with the um, Brawler spawning from the Goblin Cage. Okay, let's go with a Musketeer here on defense. We need to be careful if he has a Miner. I'm not sure what version he's running. Could be yeah, some kind of Miner version. Could be something else. Looks like he has a Balloon. Okay, what I'm going to do is pressure a lot. Skeletons here on defense, and I'm gonna fireball as soon as I can. Um, plus an ice spirit on top of the balloon, and the musketeer hopefully should be able to deal 
with the um, yeah, Skelly Dragons. In the meantime, we got a ton of damage. Look at the damage on the left side. Goblin Brawler is also, uh, like the Brawler from the cage, is also able to get on top of the tower. Left side down to 1,346 HP. And it is looking pretty good for us right now. Okay, so Lava Loon, but he has an awkward cycle though. He has Knight, Barbarians, Knight Witch. I feel like his cycle is going to be really um, yeah, heavy. So we should be able to outcycle him and pressure a lot. And I don't know if he has a small spell. Like he didn't show that he has, for example, a, a Fireball. Or he did show the Fireball. But I mean, he didn't show that he, for example, has um, arrows or anything to... Okay, he does have arrows. Okay. We can go with Skeletons now. I'm going to go with Ice Spirit here as well. Trying to take care of all the bats. And then I'm going to go with another Musketeer. We can outcycle him pretty easily. So that's good for us right here. Okay, let's go with the Ice Golem to, uh, to tank for everything. I'm going to go Hawk Rider. We know that he has evil Barbarians, so I'm going to go with a Lock here as well. Trying to hit the Barbarians. Looks like he doesn't even go for them. He, do he does go now in the last second. And I think here, once again, we can just rely on um, get a Musketeer, the Ice Golem. We don't even need to overspend on defense. I didn't even use the Fireball yet. I think I'm just going to keep the Fireball here whenever he goes with his um, Skeleton Dragons. Okay, nice, perfect. Let's go with skeletons. Let's go with another musketeer. We can cycle another ice golem. But once again, the goblin cage is kind of yeah useless. I could use it here against the um, the evil knight. I guess against the evil knight, it is gonna be kind of helpful. But in general, yeah, it doesn't really help us much, especially in this matchup against Lava Loon. I guess it's normal, but so far kind of unlucky with the matchups. Okay, let's go guys, hoping into game number four. Very nice matches so far, but as I said, kind of unlucky with the matchups because we're not really facing any decks where the yeah, Goblin Cage Evolution can help out a lot. I feel like it could help a lot against troops like yeah, Giant, Royal Giant, Golem, like uh, yeah, mainly ground troops and of course heavy units. But so far we didn't really face any. Okay, looks like this guy has Rage. Rage could be a lot of stuff, but I would say that it's most of the times either Sparky or it's gonna be like um, Elixir Golem. So we need to be careful here. Okay, looks like he does have a monk he has rage monk yeah i'm not really sure what it's gonna be let's go ice spirit hopefully it jumps oh that's unfortunate i want to say hopefully it jumps on top of the monk and the tower at the same time but i guess it's fine in the meantime let's cycle skeletons here looks like he also has arrows so he has arrows rage monk not really sure what to expect right now if he pops ability we could activate the king tower here because then we can just reflect the lock onto our own tower but looks like he has um barbarians here okay barbarians monk rage arrows what is this i have a feeling it's gonna be elixir golem I'm not completely sure, but it's definitely looking yeah, like an Elixir Column deck to me, at least. There you go. There's the Elixir Column. Okay, I kind of had the feeling. wasn't 100% sure, but I guess always when you have a feeling, you should try and um, yeah, listen to the feeling. Okay, let's try to keep up the pressure, though. I think here we can try and pressure a little bit with the um, Musketeer. Let's go with the uh, Ice Column in front of it. Let's afterwards set up the Goblin Cage, and I think the Goblin Cage should be able to help us a little bit. He does go... Okay, he basically throws everything um, at the bridge here. I'm going to go Fireball plus Lock. As soon as possible, trying to take care of everything. Let's then go with Skeletons here as well on defense. And hopefully that's able to defend it. I think we did a pretty good job at defending right here. Look at the evil skeleton still alive. We end up activating the King Tower as well. I don't know how that happened. And then we have an Ice Golem here to defend. So, oh my god. What a crazy defense we just did. We ended up defending... How much Elixir was it? Let's try to calculate. I'm pretty bad at math. Uh, math. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. But that was like... Like a healer. Night Witch. Mog. That was like 12 Elixir... 13 elixir i think maybe more maybe i'm wrong but there was definitely a lot of elixir spent by him he ignored the left side the left side tower went down and then we still managed to defend it i would say really really well so yeah really nice defense there and only 50 seconds left we do need to be careful because he still has one really big push left but i think if we do a good job here we should be able to um yeah hopefully hold on okay let's here go with a fireball as soon as possible let's then afterwards go with a log as well to directly kill the Night Witch, we do need to be careful with the Electro Dragon, but I'm going to go with a second Musketeer to snipe it, and hopefully it's able to take care of it. Okay, nice. Looking good, guys. Let's go with the Ice Golem here as well. Monk is tanking, so we do need to be careful, but we can even go with a Goblin Cage here, try to pull the Monk um, inside, or I don't know what, it, what is even happening right now, but I think we got it, guys. I think we got the defense. Only 15 seconds left. As you guys can see, he's not really able to break through our defense. And in this specific matchup, Goblin Cage Evolution was actually kind of nice. I think with the cannon, we probably, yeah, would have done the job as well. But especially that one defense, that was insane. I really like how we ended up um, yeah, taking the left side tower and at the same time also managed to defend. Really nice W. See you guys soon with the last match of today's video. Okay, let's go guys. Hoping into the last match of today's video so far. Really nice matches. I'm having a ton of fun. It's always fun playing with 2.6, especially with 2.6 sometimes without the Hulk Rider, sometimes without the cannon, a new evolution, like different types of version. With the 2.6, it's always yeah fun to use. Okay, looks like this guy is a barbell not sure what barbell could be he is in um i believe that's a korean clan most of the times korean players for some reason love playing splash art so hopefully it's not gonna be splash art because if it is gonna be splash art yeah okay i think it is gonna be splash art 
I don't know why, I don't know what's up with Korean players playing uh, Splashyard, but they always love playing Graveyard. Like, for some reason, they are just a fan of using um, their Graveyard decks. Okay, let's go with the Musketeer. I would say pretty high, trying to not give him too much poison value. I think he still could potentially poison here, but the Musketeer is also gonna, yeah, walk up, and then here we can go with a Fireball. Okay, I'm gonna go Fireball already, because the Musketeer is still alive, and then this way she can get at least, like, two or maybe three shots. Okay, one shot, actually, uh, but I guess it's fine, and let's here just go with the Ice Spirit to distract the Brawler, and I think with that, we already end up defending it, yeah, without having to spend anything else. Okay, so he has a Cannoneer. That's gonna be interesting. I think Cannoneer is decent against Hulk Rider, but it's not really good against Skeletons. So maybe the evil Skeletons in some situations um, yeah, can get a lot of value. That would be amazing. Okay, looks like he cycles Ice Wizard. I'm gonna go Goblin Cage Evolution. I'm gonna go Ice Golem once again in the same lane. And then we need to be careful with giving him Poison value. Because sometimes these type of matchups end up going um, yeah, in Spell Cycle battles. Okay, let's have the evil skeletons ready in case he goes with his um with his graveyard looks like he doesn't and i would like to go with a hawk rider right side even though he has goblin cage i think we still go with a hawk rider here and then afterwards we just okay let's go with skeletons as well these skeletons are gonna force out probably a nado or even a poison i would say oh okay the ice is also a really good option i didn't think about the ice wizard actually okay let's go with the ice golem here to distract the baby dragon to distract the the ice wizard a little bit Let's go with a musketeer up high to snipe the ice wizard, avoiding yeah, a lot of damage. And then hopefully it's also able to deal with the um, goblin cage. Okay, so he's playing it really patient. As you guys can see, he didn't drop a single graveyard yet. He's just trying to cycle and trying to um, get the evolutions going. I'm going to go Hulk Rider and then I'm going to go with another musketeer here, sniping the baby dragon. Okay, let's go with the ice golem. He's probably going to go poison, but I guess it's fine. And then here I'm going to try and cycle back to another Hulk Rider. He didn't get the activation, so that's good for us. Then here I'm gonna go Ice Spirit as well. Okay, let's go Ice Spirit, let's go Hawk Rider. Musketeer is unfortunately gonna die. And let's see if we can get something going. I'm gonna go with another Musketeer. Maybe I should have went with Fireball instead. But I guess we can maybe, yeah, steal Fireball here, trying to get some damage. Okay, Hawk Rider unfortunately is not able to connect. The Brawler and the Musketeer are also not gonna get anything done. And then we are able to get a decent amount of damage. He didn't use a single Graveyard yet though. Okay, let's go Goblin Cage here to, to pull the Knight right away. Nice. It's gonna be outside of the range. Let's go with a Hawk Rider here as well. Then I'm gonna go. Oh, he does go with the um, Nado. That was a nice Nado by him. Let's go with Ice Spirit and let's go with a Lock as well. And then that's the problem. The Graveyard is like nine out of the ten times always gonna get some amount of damage, and most of the times a lot of um, get damage actually. Okay, great Fireball here though. Let's go with Skeletons. Let's go with Hawk Rider. Let's go with a Lock on defense, and then hopefully we can somehow get some damage and also defend. But as you guys can see, he has Nado. He has Goblin Gauge. What a difficult matchup here to end up. Um, yeah, today's video. I think we're gonna end with a loss unless something crazy happens here but i don't really see how we can yeah potentially win here okay let's go with fireball like damage wise especially after this fireball it's not looking horrible for us but just in general i feel like it's really difficult to win especially in triple x now i'm gonna have to um switch lanes here i'm gonna go with um ice golem plus hawk rider towards the right side i'm gonna go with a musketeer up high trying to kill the ice wizard plus the baby dragon let's go with the ice spirit here as well i'm gonna go skeletons trying to distract it we have a goblin cage evolution for the evil knight so that's good for us and then okay pretty good looking pretty decent actually i'm gonna go fireball here let's go with ice golem as well i'm gonna go ice spirit we have evil skeletons so the evil skeletons can maybe get something going he might go with a nato so we need to be careful and then the skeletons somehow still get so much damage like what can we do to defend the graveyard like it's it's impossible here i think yeah it might be impossible unless something happens here in the last 50 seconds okay nice looking pretty decent let's go with a musketeer to snipe the cage Let's go with a hop rider here as well i'm gonna go fireball on top of the ice wizard please tell me that somehow we managed to break through but i don't really think so like honestly he has so many answers he even goes with another um tornado hop rider does get a shot okay nice let's go with a hop rider here but he has the goblin cage i think he has the evil goblin cage yeah he has the evil goblin cage goblin cage against hawk rider is a really good answer so this is unfortunately not gonna be enough unless something crazy happens but then once again he's just gonna go graveyard this graveyard is gonna get 10,000 damage as always so unfortunately we do end up losing the last match i still had a lot of fun honestly this deck is um yeah really fun to use of course as i said 2.6 and then different version of 2.6 always really fun hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well if you did please make sure to smack the like button if not subscribe to the channel feel free to subscribe and i hope to see you guys in one of my next videos take care guys